This video covers comparing a pipe using integrator mode within Aviva E3D 2.1. Add pipe 100-B-8 to the 3D view. There are some integrator default settings that need to be applied. From the Project tab, click Options, Discipline, Integrator. Set the Compare Configuration to Piping Check. From the Accept Differences section, click the Select Group Link Label. From the Form, right-click on the available GP set and select Accept Difference Group. Click the Yes button. Repeat the process for the Limit Points section. From the Build Pipe Equipment Zone section, select the Model Explorer Select Radio button. From the Build Pipe Branch section, ensure all checkboxes are unchecked. The remaining checkboxes in the Build Component and Integrator Mode section should remain checked. Select the Piping tab. Click the Tools Integrator Mode button. The contents of the 3D view will appear in monochrome. From the Aviva Power Wheel, select Compare. The integrator panel will appear and the 3D view will be coloured accordingly. Clicking through the tabs will show the pipe, branch and component issues. There may be multiple issues for each tab. Select the pipe tab to show the differences between 3D and 2D at the pipe level. With the temperature entry selected, click the copy from diagram button to update the 3D model. Repeat this for the description and line type entries. The form needs to be updated to reflect these changes by clicking the Redo Compare button. The form will update, no longer reporting any pipe issues. The 3D view has zoomed in on one of the branches. Select the branch and click the arrow to display the entry for 100-B-8-B1. With the temperature entry selected, click the Copy from Diagram button. Click the arrow to display the entries for 100-B-8-B2. Select the temperature entry and click the Copy from Diagram button. The branch tab is also reporting a missing element. Click the View on Diagram button. The diagram viewer is displayed and needs resizing. Hold down the control key and use the cursor to create a window around the valve and pump. Hover the cursor over valve V111 until it highlights yellow and from the right click menu select Build Valve. Click the Yes button on the integrator form. The valve will be highlighted in cyan on the diagram viewer when it is built. Close the diagram viewer form. Valve V111 has been added to the branch. Use the editor to reposition the valve in the other leg. Feature highlighting will need to be toggled off with the F key to do so. Click the Redo Compare button. The only issue remaining is at a component level. Select the Component tab. With the SPREF entry selected, click the Accept Difference button followed by the Redo Compare button. The integrator panel will show that there are no more issues and the pipe will be highlighted green in the 3D view. The integrator panel also has settings that control the behaviour of the 3D view. From the Piping tab, click Tools, Integrator Mode to exit the Integrator Mode. From the Home tab, click the Modify Editor button to deactivate the editor handles. The flanges and gaskets can be added to the valve using the functionality already covered. With the valve the current element, open the Piping Component Editor form. Add a slip-on flange and gasket at the leave of the valve. Add a weld neck flange to the arrive of the valve.
Position the connected components at the head of the branch using the Connect to Previous button. Perform a save work.